All right, just realized I was showing something and I wasn't even recording at the same time. So I'm going to just show you right now. So on the top of your auto scrims command, uh, auto start, I mean, dot js, write this. All right, so constant settings equals require, and then uh, quotation dot slash dot dot slash settings dot json, quotation, and also add constant owner equals settings dot owner. All right, once you got both of these things, go into your index.js file. Towards the top, let's say around line 35, you'll see let raw and then the read file sync and the validation function. Grab these, copy them. Make sure you copy the let validation from this curly bracket to the bottom one after return value. Right? So this is the end of it. So grab all this, copy it, go to auto scrims, and then under console log activating uh, auto command, just paste it right here. All right? So now you see you have it on the beginning on the auto uh, start scrim command. Scroll down and else if set the zero and the, and the thirty, check where it finishes. So it finishes right here. So underneath it, I'm gonna make a an uh, auto stop command. So I'm gonna write something that actually stops the bot from always uh, playing games. So it's gonna be called. So first thing we're gonna do is constant uh, filter, which is a a message that we will declare soon. I just want to make sure that it's not coming from the bot. So the m the author is not a bot, all right? That's what the exclamation point makes. It's a, like a negation. And then I'm going to check constant uh, collect, I'll call it. I'm going to create a message collector. So we're going to collect from a specific channel. So I'm going to have to go grab it. So bot.guilds.get, and I'm getting the message dot, uh, message dot guild dot id. And then from here we want to get all the channels from this one and the channel um, channels that I'm the channel that I'm getting is the general one and then here we're just going to uh, just click enter directly don't don't put a uh, curly bracket or uh, no, I mean a semicolon and it's underneath it type dot and create message with a capital M collector with a capital C all right. And then inside here we're going to write filter, comma, curly brackets, and I'm just going to write time, and I'm put 60,000. All right, 60,000 milliseconds is 60 seconds, so we're just going to collect for 60 seconds. All right, so now we created our collector. We're going to actually use it. So collect um, dot on, and the event we're going to use is also called collect. Here we're going to declare our m as our message thing that we collect else then uh, open curly bracket here we're just going to check so if the message content is equal to auto auto stop All right so if it's auto stop i'm just going to um open a curly bracket and i'm going to check if the player is valid so what we just copy pasted up top here the allowed roles and validation and raw i'm going to use them right now so if move my cursor. So if validation and inside validation, we're going to use the allowed roles dot roles. Also, we're going to use um, m dot member dot um, roles dot array. I put a rule right here. Array with a y. I made a typo. All right. So we're going to check the roles uh, if the person that's writing the command. Here is either a host or something, or or we're gonna check if he's the owner. So the the m dot member dot id is equal to owner. Okay, if he is, then we can stop the stuff. So we're going to clear our interval capital I on interval. It's a camel case is it's called so the first word is uh, lowercase and then you capitalize any any words that follow kind of like allowed rules and shit like that anyways so uh, clear interval go up see like let auto scrims equal set interval just copy auto scrims scroll down back to your clear oops paste it in all right and now we're going to clear uh, we're going to stop our collector so collect dot stop and then we're just going to console log that we stopped. Actually, no, let's not console log. Let's send it to the screen. So 
a bot. We're gonna check our guilds. I wanna get a specific one, the one that I'm currently in. So m dot guild dot id. And uh, I'm not sure. I just stopped the collector, so it's, it's not valid. It's message dot guild dot id. And then I'm going to check the channels. I'm going to get the general. I'm going to send um, auto scrims stop. I'm not even sure how many P's you need here, but whatever. Auto scrims stop. Okay, and then I'm gonna actually gonna make the catch. Make sure this message gets sent. So I'll just put a so catch. Uh, open parenthesis, open another one, type error, close one, arrow, curly brackets, and then we're just going to console, dot log, and we're going to log the error. Alright. So if I double check this to make sure it's good, um, filter collect, uh, we're collecting. I put the time somewhere. Yeah. All right. Let's test it. Save your file. Um, type node index.js. Open Discord. Let's type auto. Auto start. Okay. So my auto start command starts. It works. You gotta wait one minute before you can stop it. I'll show you why while we wait. So, and so when we start the the interval, right? This gets activated um, every one minute. So, and then when we get to it, we also activate their collector for another minute. So the first minute you can't stop the the auto. We gotta wait one minute before, but it's not really a big deal. So I'm going to cut the video and come back to it. Alright, so I think it's been probably close to one minute. So let's do um, auto-stop. Okay, so it says auto scrim stopped. So that means it technically works. So now for me it's 8.16. So I'm going to start the auto. Oops. Auto start. And now I'm going to cut the video and I'll come back when the thing starts. Oh, actually, let me double check. Um, is my bot doesn't even does it know that that the bot is a host? Let's check. So I'm gonna reset the bot. So you see how I put add roles host. I made sure the bot has the host role. I'm gonna go back to my terminal, command control C to cancel it, and I'm gonna node index.js. And then I'm just gonna open it again, type auto, start, and then we'll see in uh, in ten minutes, I'll be right back. Alright, so as you can see, so it does it did the countdown. I don't think you guys heard it because it went in my headset. I tried to change it last second, but I didn't get the time. And then it starts the the codes, and then it'll do this for um, the first three minutes. It'll gather codes, then it will say stop. Uh, I'll show you that in a second when it when it's done. And then it will keep going. Actually, I can I can force stop it if I just type stop. Okay, so now you see no more codes are accepted at this point, and then. This w doesn't stop the auto, though. The bot here will keep going every uh, XX and uh, 00 and 30, so every 30 minutes it'll play one. If you have any questions, join my uh, support channel. I usually try to answer every uh, questions a couple times a day. I also got a few helpers there. The link for the support is going to be in the, the description. Alright, well, have a great day.